I'm Rochelle Litt. Thank you for joining us for our 2021 State of the City presentation. Each year, we look forward to this PGA Carter event, customized to keep our business community in the know. As I take the helm as mayor of the City of Palm Beach Gardens, I'd like to bring you up to date on what our signature city has been up to over the past year. While some areas of our local economy slowed during the pandemic, the state of our city remains strong as development projects continue to move forward. Right now, I'm standing in Alton Town Center, one of the city's newest developments that really began to take shape over the last year. The majority of the shopping center is built out and complete with many businesses open and operating. There are a host of restaurants, retail stores, spas and office spaces bustling with activity, which has created a lively, engaging atmosphere here. Currently under construction are a 136,000 square foot Home Depot with Garden Center and a 7,225 square foot Miller's Ale House. Art is part of what has created a unique atmosphere in the Alton Town Center. From water features and sculptures, there is plenty for the senses to take in. City Council recently approved the Town Center's next Art and Public Places installation, a metal sculpture named Techno by artist Alexander Krivishu, which will be placed at one of the entrances. The artist states the piece represents connectedness, transformation, and a dance into the future. On the development side, with apartments and houses now complete, Alton is further enhancing quality of life with a 4.49 acre community park on parcel F. At the corner of Hood Road and Alton Road, the park was completed in the fall of 2020 and is open to the public. It includes a playground, large and small dog parks, a fitness circuit, and a multi-purpose activity lawn. Traveling a short distance west of Interstate 95, nearby artistry has continued to grow since our last update. As of late April, 52 homes have received certificates of occupancy towards its approved 469 single family units within parcel G of the Alton PCD. Moving out of Alton and down Hood Road, we come to the Bonnet Hunt Club, where building continues on its approved 24 single family homes, with COs issued for five units and another 15 under construction. And further west down Hood Road, another neighborhood is taking shape at Trevi Isle. This residential subdivision now has a clubhouse and 19 townhomes with COs. 29 of the remaining 31 townhomes are currently under construction. Next stop, transit-oriented development. TOD is a best practice in city planning where many uses are co-located and concentrated near a transit station. This reduces the dependence on cars and creates a comfortable pedestrian environment. We have been anticipating a train station for many years, and in 2018, a station area master plan was completed in consultation with Treasure Coast Regional Planning Council. The city's TOD plan encourages a mix of supportive land uses, such as business, retail, workforce housing, personal services, and recreation public space around a future train station to place the city in a better position for a successful station. Locating a train station in the city's urban core provides an additional mobility option for residents 
while serving as a growth management tool to reduce traffic congestion. It would also provide a significant regional service. As Brightline is currently double tracking along the FEC railway through the city to provide connectivity and service from South Florida to Orlando, it represents another potential opportunity for a rail station in addition to Tri-Rail. The much anticipated redevelopment of downtown Palm Beach Gardens is well underway with construction in full swing at Lifetime Fitness. With a variety of health club uses and more, the three-story, 116, 862 square foot building with new adjacent parking will house a cafe and coffee bar, gym equipment, weights, exercise classes, basketball, salon and spa services, as well as a resort roof deck with pools, cabanas, and bistro. We eagerly await its completion in early 2022. The rest of downtown Palm Beach Gardens will undergo quite an upgrade with the relocation of its iconic carousel to a lakeside location. A new interactive water feature will be placed where the carousel was previously located and updates will be made to the Strand's architecture, hardscape, landscape, and furnishings. The full vision of downtown's revitalization is currently under review, with mixed land use and zoning requests scheduled for public hearings this summer. PCD and site plan amendments are also scheduled for the summer. Up for consideration is a mixed-use tower. A retail component and a restaurant are proposed for the first floor of the tower, office space for the second floor, and a 174-room hotel for the third through ninth floors. A multifamily residential apartment component will also be presented with 280 one, two, and three bedroom units and leisure amenities in an eight-story building. City Council also recently approved the next Art and Public Places piece for downtown. Soon shoppers will be thrilled by The Bloom, six dandelion art sculptures by artist Dan Shaughnessy IV. Located near the Central Courtyard area, each sculpture will vary in height from 13 to 15 feet. They will be internally lit and the lights will be interactive in the evening with passers-by. As we move forward with our mobility plan, the first city project under the newly adopted plan will begin this June with improvements to Campus Drive from RCA Boulevard to PGA Boulevard. We will modify the existing roadway to allow for better traffic circulation for Palm Beach State College, the Palm Beach County Courthouse, Gardens Branch Public Library, and the city's fire station number two. To accomplish this, we'll introduce a roundabout at the intersection of Campus Drive and Fairchild Gardens Avenue with flashing solar crosswalks. The west side of Campus Drive sidewalk will be widened from five feet to eight feet. And the east side of Campus Drive will have a newly installed 12-foot multi-use path for pedestrian, bicycles, and slow-speed vehicles from RCA Boulevard to PGA Boulevard. The entire road will be repaved, restriped, and new landscaping and pedestrian scale lighting will be installed. These improvements are scheduled to be done by August 2021. Now for an update on a project that was just beginning to break ground when we presented last year's State of the City Address. Florida Power and Light's professional office building construction has gone vertical. The 270,000 square foot, six-story building with three-story parking garage will withstand up to Category 5 winds and is intentionally designed to reduce wind shear and to maximize natural light. Within our newly established TOD Urban Core, Arcady Gardens has continued its construction over the last year and will open its sales center for activity in the near future. The Central Clubhouse will soon receive its CO. 
This independent living facility is approved for a 326 bed, 163 unit community. Arcadia Gardens has contributed $550,000 to our Workforce Housing Fund. If you find yourself in the area of PGA Boulevard and US Highway 1, you'll see City Center's recently completed Solera Infill Development Project. Approved in 2019, this four-story, 136 multifamily unit building has 14 units dedicated for workforce housing for 20 years. Residents will enjoy built-in amenities as well as strong pedestrian connectivity to adjacent restaurants and shops. Speaking of workforce housing, the city expects to receive $5.5 million in 2021 from voluntary developer contributions to a workforce housing fund. In order to best manage the funds, staff engaged a consultant to conduct an analysis of local housing needs and provide recommendations. A detailed workforce housing study and analysis report was compiled by the consultant which included many recommendations to address the gaps in housing needs of the local workforce community. Having opportunities to live closer to employment centers and community services such as shopping and recreation reduces long commutes and results in a healthier environment and healthier, happier residents. Expect to hear more on this topic in the future as city staff begins to develop detailed policies for implementation in 2021. Moving over to Northlake, this time last year, the site of Costco Fuel Center existed only in two dimensions, but construction is now complete on its 24 pumps, parking lot improvements, landscaping, and pedestrian shelters. Right-of-way work at the intersection of Northlake Boulevard and MacArthur Boulevard are currently underway, and the signal work should commence soon. The store expansion is anticipated to begin construction in January 2022. Out west at Avenir, multiple model homes are either complete or under construction. Residential permits have been issued in Watermark, Wingate, Carl Isles, and the Regency. In the five pods, only Wingate has received its first certificate of occupancy. The Avenir Clubhouse, which includes a 12,087 square foot building with associated amenities, is currently being built by Cast Construction. The approved FPNL substation is also underway. A $5 million contribution to our Workforce Housing Fund will be made on behalf of Avenir in December of this year. Next door at Ancient Tree, the residential neighborhood has received approximately 35 COs out of its approved 96 single-family homes. The community is beginning to establish itself nicely. As for other projects of note, Nouveau Business Center has completed its first phase on Riverside Drive, south of Burns Road. A 99,183-square-foot self-storage facility called Extra Space Storage is now open. Phase 2, to be constructed in the future, includes over 18,000 square feet for laboratory and research and development space. Another utility partner with facilities under construction is Seacoast Utility Authority. The water utility is currently building their administrative complex on Hood Road. The complex's administrative building, operations building, and break room have been completed. A new parking lot has also been completed and landscaping installation is underway. Seacoast is currently constructing the warehouse and fleet operations building. They expect it to be completed by this fall. For more than a year now, our city, the country, and the world has worked nonstop to combat a global pandemic. The city has taken a multi-pronged approach to assisting our residents and businesses with resources 
to aid with financial and medical recovery. Last year, we administered several programs aimed at helping small businesses reopen, restoring public confidence in the safety of these businesses, and aiding unemployed residents who were furloughed due to closures. With the money from economic development funds that the city already had in its current budget, we worked with our partners at the PGA Corridor Association and Palm Beach North Chamber to administer approximately $1 million in grants to assist small businesses and restaurants. Another $300,000 in grocery gift cards for unemployed residents was distributed. More recently, we have been fortunate to roll out the Palm Beach Gardens CARES Mortgage and Rent Assistance Program as part of the Federal CARES Act funding. Of our allotted 482,975 federal dollars, we have approved nine applications in the amount of $90,876, with more applications in progress and near approval. The program began accepting paper and online applications on March 15, 2021, and will continue processing applications on a first-come, first-funded basis. It is quite apparent from the volume of applications we have received that this grant program is providing a much needed community resource. The maximum amount of assistance is limited to $15,000 per household and funds remain available. In an effort to support our businesses and increase the public's confidence in venturing out to restaurants, last May, we put a certificate of verification program in place and issued certificates to local businesses to verify they were in compliance with Governor DeSantis' COVID-19 guidelines. Continuing our commitment to create a business-friendly environment, we launched our outdoor seating and use plan last August to create an expedited process for reviewing and approving the use of expanded outdoor seating and sales racks. This temporary provision is still in place, having been extended to the end of June 2021. Outdoor music is also allowed without amplification. Operations are soon wrapping up, but since late February, the Burns Road Community Center functioned as a county site for COVID-19 vaccines. Over 20,000 shots were administered at this facility. The Palm Beach County Healthcare District will be closing this North County hub in favor of smaller pop-up sites, but we are proud to have assisted with the setup of this location as well as lending three of our paramedic personnel to assist with administering vaccines. While many businesses and facilities slowly reopened in the community, our own city capital improvement projects continue to push full steam ahead. The city's fire training tower was completed in 2020. It is the only modular tower constructed of metal in Palm Beach County. Located at our public safety training complex, the four-story tower is used to instruct our fire personnel in multiple disciplines, from training under realistic conditions to maintaining physical fitness. This past January, Fire Rescue graduated the first class of its new recruit academy that used the training tower. Prior to the tower being completed, the department outsourced the firefighter portion of its training. Having our own tower means personnel have 24 hour a day, seven day a week access to hone their skills. Also completed last year were renovations to our city hall, police department, and fire administration offices. City hall underwent a renovation to its existing 18,000 square feet and added 12,000 square foot expansion that created both a benefit to our businesses, our public, and to our staff. As our city grows, so do our staffing needs. Visit us at City Hall and you'll notice a brand new lobby entrance for our building department. A welcoming atmosphere awaits with customer service windows and a new waiting system that keeps the department running efficiently. The police department's detectives bureau has added much needed office space and our fire department's administrative staff have been relocated from Station 61 to City Hall. 
Expansion also allows for future growth if necessary. In late October 2020, City Council cut the ribbon and opened the doors of our 12,705 square foot Key West style tennis and pickleball clubhouse. This gorgeous facility features an indoor delicatessen, multi-purpose rooms, and an outdoor dining area. It is perfect for everyday use by our bustling league players and is equally suited to host after hours and community events. Next door at the Gardens North County District Park, the playground and splash pad have remained as popular as ever. We recently added a second splash pad at the park to cater to smaller children. Construction of a new pavilion is also underway. We would also like to update you on a much anticipated project. As you know, the city entered into a public-private partnership with the Palm Beach North Athletic Foundation to build a 200,000 square foot indoor recreational facility at the Gardens North County District Park. While the timeline for this project may have been shifted because of the challenges we faced in this past year, planning continues to move along for the $43 million state-of-the-art facility. One bright spot in the past year has been the resumption of some of our outdoor youth sports programs. In February, we had the privilege of participating in opening day for our Miracle League field and presenting the league and families with a unique statue installation. The high five bronze sculptures by George Lundin are an uplifting and inspiring art in public places project that exemplifies the spirit of compassion and teamwork within the Miracle League. It was a great evening and the families really enjoyed coming back together after this difficult year apart. It's family and it, it's indescribable. I mean, these really, my husband and I have always wanted to adopt and this is our way of adopting. These kids, these parents, these families are our extended family and I'm just so happy that we get to see their friends and that we were able to do this and I'm just so happy that the city allowed us to open up for today. Another bright spot in 2021 has been the safe return of some of our premier community events. Once again, we were the host city to the Honda Classic Golf Tournament. In addition, we enjoyed the happy return of Artie Gras to the City of Palm Beach Gardens. Artie Gras Fine Arts Festival was held at the Gardens North County District Park and it was great to experience such a well-planned and well-attended event. Much attention was paid to safety protocols as we were able to support our local artist community. Artie Gras has announced the return to Palm Beach Gardens in 2022. As we look to future projects slated for the city, you may have heard that our council approved funding for a new golf course to the west of our Sand Hill Crane course. Throughout the pandemic, golf nationwide experienced unprecedented growth as a sport because it is socially distanced by design. The economic outlook for Sandhill Crane Golf Club remains strong. Through a land allotment from neighboring Avenir, the city obtained 115 acres that we plan to develop into an 18-hole par-3 golf course with an island green 19th hole. Our market analysis shows that between projected population growth and the current availability of public golf courses within a 20-mile radius, we are in a position to continue to maintain a consistent and growing customer base. The location will also include a satellite clubhouse and top golf style two-story driving range. This project is already underway with the clubhouse and Nicholas Design Course Plans Complete.
Now for an update on the city budget. Departments have submitted their spending requests for the next fiscal year, which are currently being reviewed by the city manager. We continue to monitor the effects on revenues from COVID-19 and are hopeful that state shared revenues will continue to recover as more residents receive vaccinations, allowing businesses across all industries to return to normal operations. The good news is that business and residential development and the local housing market have remained strong, and we are hopeful this will be reflected when the Palm Beach County Property Appraiser releases preliminary property value estimates, which are due by June 1, 2021. After receipt of the final values, an analysis of spending requests and other non ad valorem revenue sources the city manager will be able to finalize a recommendation on the millage rate and submit a proposed budget for fiscal year 2022 for council's consideration. Last year, we discussed our priority for making sure racism and discrimination are not tolerated within our employee or the services we provide. As the nationwide discussion around discrimination and diversity continues, so have our efforts as an organization. Over the past nine years, city employees have participated in diversity and cultural competency training. This training was held as recently as last fall. We are also proud to have started a new, more in-depth program that is available for all employees called PBG Respects. PBG Respects allows city staff to delve deeper into the topics of diversity, equity, and inclusion through a multi-course series led by industry professionals. This program is part of our continued commitment to improve our communication and understanding and better serve our community. Thank you for joining me today. Before I go, I'd like to acknowledge my fellow teammates, Vice Mayor Chelsea Reed, Council Member Carl Woods, Council Member Mark Marciano, and Council Member Marcy Tinsley. We all do our best to represent the interests of our constituents and our business community. This last year has been especially challenging, but I believe we have risen to the challenge, navigating it together. What I have covered today are some of the highlights of all that is exciting and promising in the city of Palm Beach Gardens. We look forward to seeing you all again soon. Until then, I wish you and your families health and happiness as we move forward together.